How's it going, toy aficionados? Brock here giving you another episode of Stories of Toy Companies, and I will tell the story of Mattel, on how they got their start, what milestone toys made them popular in the past, and what toys and licenses are popular today for the company. Mattel Toys was founded in 1945 by Harold Matt Matson and Ruth and Elliot Handler. The company first sold picture frames and dollhouse furniture. Matson later sold his shares to the Handlers due to poor health. In 1947, Mattel's first big toy was the Yukadoodle, a child-sized guitar. Later in 1948, Mattel established their headquarters in Los Angeles, California. In the 1950s, Mattel was the first sponsor of the Mickey Mouse Club, being able to be one of the first toy companies to market on television. Notable products they made in the 50s were the Magic 8-Ball, the iconic Corn Popper, Xylophone, and the first Barbie doll. The Barbie doll was created by Ruth Handler, who noticed her daughter playing with paper dolls, and decided to create the first three-dimensional doll to inspire girls to be anything they choose. The Barbie doll is the best-selling toy in company history. In the 1960s, the company invented a number of great memorable childhood toys, such as the Chatty Cathy in 1961, the revolutionary new doll that required a pull-string function for it to speak. Other toys included the Ken doll, Christy the first black doll in the Barbie line, the Chatter Telephone, first Barbie dream house that was made out of paper, and the popular Hot Wheels miniature toy car line. In 1960, Mattel became a publicly traded company and was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Mattel in the 1970s and 80s created many different brands and concepts to the company. In 1971, Merrill Robbins from Reading, Ohio created the new card game called Uno. In 1974, Mattel issued false financial reports which resulted in Ruth and Elliot Handler being banished from the company they created. In 1980, the He-Man action figure line was first released, which became a $2 billion franchise. In 1989, the toy Polly Pocket was introduced, a miniature doll and playset that can fit inside one's pocket. In the 1990s and 2000s, Mattel acquired and created more modern and familiar toy lines within the company, such as acquiring Fisher-Price in 1993. In 1998, Mattel received the American Girl doll brand, opening the first American Girl store in Chicago, Illinois. In 2000, the company acquired the toy license to the Harry Potter brand, creating various products from the films, and in 2002, acquired the license for the DC and Looney Tunes characters. They would lose the DC license in 2020 to Spin Master. In 2017, Mattel acquired the Jurassic Park toy license after it expired from Hasbro. But in that same year, Hasbro offered to buy Mattel, which was worth $5 billion, but Mattel rejected the offer and remained an independent company. In 2018, Hot Wheels celebrated 50 years and is the number one selling toy in the world. In 2019, the Barbie brand celebrated 60 years of products, and now Mattel's current headquarters are in El Segundo, California. Today, Mattel is one of the top and successful toy companies, making quality products for kids of all ages that have become classics. From Barbie to Hot Wheels to Uno and Jurassic Park, Mattel continues to make top quality toys today, such as the Jurassic Park Amber Collection figures, the ability for customers to customize their own American Girl doll, to creating Hot Wheels ID to find collector favorites. Mattel is a company with a rich history, timeless products, and a diverse set of games and toys for kids and adults to enjoy for years to come. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Talking Toys podcast channel on YouTube and Odyssey for our podcast shorts and documentaries. For all of our news and updates, check us out on Facebook under Talking Toys in the link in the description. I'm Brock Lauer and may your hunts never end out of stock.